Stephen Curry is signature Eurasian dish made with pig ears, tongue, intestines, stomach, liver, and every other part of a pig you can think of. That was what Chef Damien De Silva whipped up for the launch of his new autobiography, Rebel with a Course. In fact, the belly warming dish has been a Christmas tradition for his family through generations. It's a dish that I grew up, and I only ate it once a year. And every time when I cook thing, the first thing that comes to my mind is Granddad. You know, I mean, I he used to be stirring this cigarette in hand and a whiskey, and I used to be by his side, right? So when I do this, he's here in spirit, I'm sure. Better known as the bad boy chef of Singapore, the self-professed rebel chef abandoned his job as an aeronautical engineer in his 40s to pursue a culinary career. Chef Damien soon established himself with his brand of Peranakan and Eurasian cuisine in Singapore. Given his roller coaster journey, which included running a private catering outfit, owning a restaurant, and then a hawker stall, the chef decided to turn his life story into a book. When the teacher was wrong, I stood up and I went against him. You know, I've always been a rebel. I only started cooking professionally in 1998. I, I think it was, it was how Granddad did, did things from scratch. You know, he was very methodical. Um, always did things right. Um, and when I grew up, I was just afraid, you know, that if he died, who's going to cook for me, right? So I made an attempt when I was about nine years old to learn whatever he could teach me. Rebel with a Course, which took the chef three months to write, takes readers on a journey through Singapore's culinary heritage during his growing up years. The book is part of the Singapore Memories, a gastronomic literary series funded by National Heritage Board's Heritage Industry Incentive Program. It doesn't make any sense if someone just buys a cookbook and they have no idea about the person, you know, what I've been through, how I became a chef. In 2002, Chef Damien started a private catering service, Rent a Chef. The following year, he launched the Soul Kitchen, the first restaurant in Singapore that served French, Italian, Spanish, Peranakan, and Eurasian cuisine. However, the Soul Kitchen folded in 2005 due to high operational cost. Next, Chef Damien set up Big D's Grill, a stall in the heartlands, in 2008, which unfortunately also closed down. But Chef Damien isn't about to call it quits. Now he's back with a new venture, Immigrant's Gastro Bar at Ju Chat Road, which serves up heritage cuisine. You have to give the public what they want. You have to give them a space that they're comfortable in, that they want to come back. You know, the minute they walk in, they have to have a feel good about the place. I think that's something which I didn't do in the last three restaurants. I mean, a coffee shop's really hot, right, because there's no air conditioning. Whereas this place is very different. You know, the minute you walk in, you want to you wanna stay. As a rebel who has taken an unconventional route to becoming a professional chef, does that make his cooking different? Find out in the next clip.